Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. It's about this is about how to move your toolbar. Uh, somebody emailed me and they were watching either my video about moving it or somebody else's video, and he said they can't move it. There's no dots like in the other people's video. Well, if you will right click right here, or yeah, right click and unlock toolbars, then you get these dots, and then you can move them out. I don't really ever see the, the reason for this with the exception that you could add more tools than you could possibly have because you could stretch this out and you could always add tools that you don't normally have uh, because they would go off the bottom of the page. Like I've got, uh, let's see, something that I don't have checked. I don't have my outline tool. So I've got plenty of space for it now. Uh, when you keep your... I, uh, objects big, big, sometimes they go off the page. So we'll go ahead and put this back and you just wait till it grays out. And if you made your toolbars bigger, uh, some of your tools might not fit in that space. So that's why you would want to possibly move them out. I think I've got everything checked, enabled everything now, but my icons aren't that big. So let's, uh, right click, customize, and make the buttons big. And now you see it's gone, my couple of tools. So this is where you'd, you could move them out and then expand this out this way and because you now you have a lot more room and you could have all your tools in there. That's a pretty cool effect. But you cannot uh, do that unless you have the toolbar unlocked. And that's the reason for it. So if you just put them back till it grays out and you can see all the little uh, property bar and toolbox, it's because if you right click and then you lock them, those go away and that's the reason so it won't happen. Now I'm going to put my tool back to small just so I've got everything I need on there. But that's how you can move your toolbar. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.